the Lord is going to shake the heavens. All right. The heavens and the earth. It says they're going to remove out her place, man. You know, the whole earth is going to be out of course when, when those missiles come and uh, lay, lay waste to this place, man. It makes it, uh, make it, it makes it desolate. All right. Um, I'll just read on down. I was going to skip this one. It says, this is Isaiah 13 and 14. And it shall be as the chaste roll and as a sheep that no man taketh up. There shall every man turn to his own people and flee everyone into his own land. Okay. Those missiles are, are going to come, man. You know. And those, the people are going to be, be utterly afraid. You know, from the torments that are coming upon this place. It says, everyone that is found shall be thrust through. And everyone that is joined unto them, they shall fall by the sword. All right. So everyone that is found shall be thrust through. All of the, uh, all of the wicked that are, that are found, they're gonna be thrust through with the, with the missiles, man. They're gonna be thrust through by the chariots. They're gonna be thrust through by the uh, vengeance of the Lord. You know, His indignation, His righteous anger. And it says, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword. So all the heathens that want to be like Edomites, they're gonna fall anyway. But all the the uh, joined unto them. That's specifically speaking about um, the nation of Israel that can't, that wants to, that can't uh, help but cleave on and attach themselves to uh, the Edomites, man, and those who have done wickedly. Two thirds of our people. That's what they're speaking about. It says they shall fall by the sword because it says, though a hand joined in hand, the wicked shall not go unpunished. All right. It says their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. All right, this is they're going to be dashed to pieces. Their children are going to be children are going to be getting killed out here in the uh, time of Jacob's trouble, man. That fa that famine, you know, all of those things taking place, you know. And the Lord says, "Happy is he that uh, dashes thy children against the snows," you know. But this is all those uh, armies, those uh, police force, you know, uh, two thirds Edomites. They're going to be running up in your houses. They're going to be killing children. They're going to be taking all your goods in your house. Women, the wives are going to be, wives to be ravished means raped, man. Women are going to be being raped in that day, you know? So the, the, the hardiness of the terrible is going to be brought low, man. It's going to change its whole, its whole countenance, you know? And this is a uh, Psalm 7 and 11. The most high judges the righteous and the most high is angry with the wicked every day. All right, so the Lord is angry with them every day, man. Don't a day pass that he's not angry with with wick with with the wicked, man, with the wicked people. All right, that's not you know the Lord don't delight in wickedness, man. You know because they have done these things, he gonna bring uh he's gonna be great bring great judgment upon their heads, man. Like n never seen before, you know. He says these times are gonna be like something that the earth has never seen, a time that has never happened. You know, so these are great judgments great calamities great destructions the kingdom of heaven is upon us man and men are are you know obviously it's the will of the heavenly father but men are choosing sides you know the wicked side or the righteous side the spiritually prepared side or the carnally uh unprepared side okay and you should be wanting to be prepared in the times that are coming and the only way through that is through yahweh Hashem yahweh shai man through these scriptures and through his knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, praying for faith, righteousness, wisdom, and knowledge, man. All right, so with that, I'm gonna say shalom.